What up? What up? Welcome back. Hey guys. We're the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Jake. I'm Dan. And uh, today we're gonna do a blind of these two awesome LEs from this year. Uh, we're heading into the end of the year. We're super excited. Gotta start making lists. I'm not the only one who spilled a little. Eh? And we gotta check them twice. Cause you know. This isn't mine. That's not yours, it's mine. I'll put it down here. Anyway. So in front of us, we have the new Maker's Mark Celeraged, just released this past September <gasps> at the distillery. I know, I know, I know. That cork is a son of a bitch to get out. It really is. I had more trouble with the Maker's than I did either of these, so really? I got my, you watched the video. <laughs> anyway. I had a hell of a time. And we have the spring release here, the barrel entry proof, the beep. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Beep, 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 boop, 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 Yeah. SpongeBob references aside, we're super excited to do this. We want to see if this thing is better than this or this is better than this. I said we should put this up. Or if they're better than each other. Yeah. I said we should put this up against William the Rue Weller. Well, that might be a possibility now because, well, things happen. Anyway. So, anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to start on the left. You can start wherever. Doesn't really matter. They're labeled underneath. You can start in the middle if you want. There's nothing there. So I guess I'll start on the right. Okay. Be different than you. All right. Grabs the exact same color thing. <laughs> it's possible. Oh. I don't know what these are. I don't either. So I, I don't even know what those are. I closed my eyes and kept spinning until I forgot. Oh gosh. All right. So here we go, bud. On the nose. Ooh. This is very light. Mine's very light. Oh, this is packed full of nose. So I'm getting like some light fruity notes, but I'm not really getting much else. I'm just getting fruity notes, very, very soft, soft, soft notes here. This is almost like lightly sugared dough. Lightly sugared dough. Oh, like, by the way. Like you're literally pressing in just the, the flour and the sugar. The sugar just, just kind of aerosolizing yes, a little bit. So yeah, aerosolizing, good. there's this. a good word for you. Anyway, while we're nosing these, by the way, go down below, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment on this video. What's your favorite? You know what? Know. This is butter pecan bread. That's what it is. Butter pecan bread? All right, I'm gonna taste it. Cheers. Interesting. Yeah, that nose just carries right over to the palate, and this is just glorious. I'm loving this. So, this one is just as light on the palate as it is on the, on nose. the nose. So literally, tr you get transfers over. You get some fruit forwardness, a little bit of a, a tinge in the back of my throat and on the sides of my tongue, but nothing terrible. And see, I get like, oh, my whole tongue is getting just a little wash. A little wash. I'm going in for another one. Mm -hmm. So, and the legs. So after, see mine. Mine doesn't have a whole. It has a few, but yeah. The, <laughs> shit. <laughs> legs for days. All it's like that day, he, like Stacy Keebler legs. Like if you. I was thinking Peter Griffin's cousin. <laughs> legs go all the way up, Griffin. Legs go all the way up, Griffin. <laughs> we were just. I was talking to a, a buddy of mine that. Uh, Knob Hill yesterday about that. That's hilarious. Because we were we were tasting the new Parker's Heritage, and it was you know legs for days. So anyway, yeah, this one. I would almost challenge this bourbon to a legging contest. I don't even know what that means, but it has a nice fruitiness. Nothing super spectacular. Very. I feel bad for this next bourbon. It's good. It, it's good. Is it spectacular? Hmm. Only time will tell. So, sniff your arm, by the way, to reset the olfactory. Hashtag quality. Lick it too. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Anyway. Yeah, no, this is the one you were for sure talking about. Like this. It's like cherry. 
I would almost, if this was a little more fruity, I would almost mistake this for an Old Forester. Really? Yes. Like, if, like, if it, it, it had a little more cherry punch to it. Okay. Like drop some cherry bitters in here, that would basically do it. Yeah. So this one is just full of just aromatics. You've got to be drinking the one I just drank. I guarantee you I am. So. Do, do, you, do, you, do you see what I was talking about with the butter pecan bread? I, I do kind of. I don't get the nuttiness of a pecan. I'm just getting like delicious like pastry and fruits. I like fruit, like, like fruit really? is, is all up in my nose right now. Yeah, it's fruity. It has a, a nice little pastry kind of vibe to it. I was thinking more like the. Uh, no, wait. But it might just be because you you keep saying butter pecan, but now that pecan is starting, it. It could be that it's. Just I swear it. Out I too. swear it's just suggestive. And now look at this pinwheel. Like, a, like <laughs> anyway. that Jordan Peele horror movie I watched. Jeez, dude, that that was. Whew. Yeah. Anyway, cheers, bud. That was a good one. That was a solid cling. All right. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Yeah, the bitterness, like right at right at the where the tongue starts to roll back. Yep. This one right along the side. This one is like a shag carpet of flavor, just all the way back, all the way around. Tongue's getting a wash. Some might say. Yeah, this is very good. Is it? I'm curious which is which now. I think I think the better one is the celery. I, I'm, I'm pretty thinking. I'm pretty sure I know which is which. You think of the celery age is the good one? I think this is the celery age. I think this is the BEP. But I've been known to be more wrong than anything on this channel historically. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. I've been known to be surprisingly right, which is curious to me. And I've been known to be wrong. So you know. I just go with my flavor palette. The, the, the self-proclaimed bourbon guy has been wrong more often than the pop culture guy. Hey. It's a great life. I love this. I really do. I'm sorry. Don't. Is that stained or is that just like that on that bottle? That 2020 limited edition? No, that's just like that. It's a barrel. Okay. Yeah. SE4 PR5 over there, by the way. I thought somebody was spilled down the side of it. I was like, who the heck? Well, I, I've, so, I've already said hell. So who the hell? Mm. I mean, I'm ready to render judgment like right now. Um, I really. Are am. we doing which one's better here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could do that right now. I mean, I'm going to finish this one so I can save the good one. So. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, you got to finish your drink to see what it is. I mean, you Unless don't really lift it over your head you and nobody can see it. Well, no one's going to see it either way. Because I mean, I'm going to walk it over to the camera and show the folks. <laughs> Well, you, All all. you do that. I'm going to save a little bit here. I got to save a little bit. You know me. I save a little bit. But I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do the same thing. The loser, I'm going to finish. The I'm going to shut my eyes. The winner, I'm going to keep. <laughs> so I'm going to finish the loser. And the winner, I'm going to keep to kind of sip after we get done. There you go. Ready? Okay. So. All right. So, I finished the loser. Let's let's look at it. My loser. Oh my god. Did you finish the loser? Yeah. What's your what's your loser? Cellar aged. What? Yeah. My loser is BEP. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well. My winner is Cellar Aged. Mine's apparently barrel entry proof. Hmm. My, my. A split decision. A quandary, if you will. Lick your hand. Reset the palate. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't do that. So, a split decision. Oh, wait. I'm yeah. not cat. Definite split decision here, and I love that kind of thing. Apparently, if you're way more into bourbon, you like cellar aged, and if you're a casual drinker, you're gonna like barrel entry proof. So, yeah. so there you go. I'm I'm gonna enjoy this. The verdict is rendered. Split decision. Hung jury. 
I don't know. One of those things. So I'm just going to take this home, right? <laughs> I mean, the door's right there. <laughs> well, anyway, I think that's going to do it for us on this one. Really short and sweet this time around. Um, trying to shorten them a little bit, but, you know, still give good content. Nonetheless, I'm going to sip this one for a little while. I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, you should do the same as well because, you know, like we always say, one, like and subscribe, share the love, hit that notification bell. That was a good one. Hit the notification bell to keep yourself in the loop of when we post new content. And also, you should share a pour with your friends and family because just like the movies, memories don't make themselves. You're damn right.